Welcome back. In the previous part, we arrived in Hamel. Some interesting things were learned, like we, we now know one character who is dead from Trails in the Sky, that much is certain, and we know Joshua has an interesting backstory going on there. There's loads of other details that I'm not entirely sure about, though. There's something going on with Reen, because he definitely had his reveal thing happening. He saw flashes of memories of but how and why? Not entirely sure at this point. That's the bit that intrigues me the most. It makes, it makes me really intrigued for Shadows in the Sky, obviously, but as part of this story, it's definitely like, what's going on with Reen? Intriguing. But anyway, we've got a boss battle here now, because obviously, like, our Robo Ross were here, so, you know, take these two out. We need to get some orders, let's see. Break damage plus 250% could be good if we have a... I'd say, I'd say we need sort of... If actually, if we do that... And then do our S breaks to jump in. That could be very good. So we'll hold off for that for now. For now. And we'll do an attack on you. It's not much. Got it. So let's let's do that order. Let's let's do the crimson break. Give them hell! Crimson break! Let's go. Let's see, I'd kind of want to swap Reen out, but I can't. Hmm. Let's see about... Let's see, 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 see. Just do normal attack, I feel. And then I want to come in with some S-Crafts. See if we can get Reen back up first. Wait, did I not select Elliot's first? I thought I selected Elliot's first. I don't know. It doesn't matter, as long as Elliot gets, gets in before. Daughter. I'm hoping this is enough to cause the break. That was enough to cause the break? Really? I'll, I'll hold on to range then. Because it's like the intent is not to try and do damage, it was enough to wanted to cause the break, like I said. Like, so. It's like, yeah, very much we will hold on to rings. Don't want to waste it. Remedy Fantasia. I just thought it would take a bit more listening. to get that, even though we had the 250 damage Thank on break. You. Gonna have to use that, obviously. Behold, the soul of our save. No. Now! Because we could do that again, really, couldn't we, then? When you think about it. Let's go! Right, so... Hmm... I could potentially... Delay her a bit. Potentially. Second form? Yeah! Now! An opening! Ah. This is it! I impossible! I went well, then went well. Hey, not bad! I'll show you an ogre's power! <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> yeah, I, uh, I need the three BP, don't I? Uh, I should have gone with rings. Thinking about it, I probably would have got it down. Because now she's going to be a problem for a little while, so I think definitely go on with Iron Will here. I should have gone with it. I was trying Let's to play go. it safe and be like not just spam S crafts, but I probably had a perfect setup to do that, didn't I? Should have taken advantage of it. Let's actually see about swapping to you. You got this. Leave it to me. That's what we got. Delay could be good. Worries me somewhat. <laughs> You're done. Bang! Ow! 
Jesus, I was careless. Sorry. It is like I should have gone with rings. Uh, I, I had it. That's the thing. It's like I had had that potential. Sorry, everyone. Like, <laughs> All right. Kind of want the fight to restart so I can just do that now to see if I can. It's like there's that element of like I could recover slowly over time, but I want to I want to restart. I want to restart. Because I want to see if I can do that. He's got so much defense going on there and everything. Right, come on, let me restart game. Right, remember. No, don't come in, V. I wanted to die. Oh, don't start dodging, V. Don't you accidentally win this, V. Don't you dare. I want to... I... I want to lose so I can restart so I can have a play around. Can you take this? Deadly storm! Right, die, V. Did, did you, you didn't die? Come on, get up. V, stop being so indestructible. This is bad. V, stop it. Get up. Yes, good. Get up. This is bad. I just, I want to know. Get her. Come on. Get her. Like, fear is unstoppable. Is that enough? Thank you. Let my guard down. Oh. Yes, I know. I know. I, that was the intent. I just want to see. I just want to know. Let's get at it. Now, prepare yourself. Not in my watch. How about this? I think the problem is like we got different things coming up now. A crit could be a problem. Because I feel that was a good play by me. It's just that little bit at the end where it's like, again, I could have finished her off. I, I could have killed her and I could have won, etc. It's just that slightly different way of doing things. I could have, I could have destroyed them. <laughs> all these orders Let's that I've go. got going on. So it's like, if we go again, Crimson Break, then. It's like, that's, that's right, correct? That's what I want. Give them hell! Crimson Break! I'll handle this. Okay, so, uh, I can... Should I attack with a... I was just wondering, like, should I do that now, or should I do, like, like, Radiant Wings, but then I'll lose my CP? Well, you know, Radiant Wings does quite well, so it's sort of like, let's just go with a normal attack. Take you to a world of fantasy. See, that's the order I wanted before. Or some kind of order like that. Right, well, we've seen that, we've seen that. Thanks. Oh, so there should be a lot of break damage. Yoink. I mean, obviously, in, in the future, I probably won't have Crimson Break. But while we've got it, I just want to... Just play with it. I, I, I think you can appreciate me wanting to play with it. You know. How it's, it was that that made me like, hold on. Because I can get breaks so fast, so simple there. My blade, calm as still water. Now! Let's see what that does. Then it's again, yeah, coming with a radiant phoenix blade. Now. Yeah. Yeah, would have done that. Cool. I swear upon my sword, evil will not prevail. I like how that tactic is really good in my head anyway. And it's like 1.6? Like, come on. I destroyed them by using orders and S breaks and S S crafts very well together. Like, come come on. Come, come, come on now. Indeed. 
I think I did. I think I did quite well there and then used what I had to my advantage. Yes. Uh, even with the playing round. Again, I could have finished her off before, it's just I chose not to. Alright, got it! I did it. Yeah. <laughs> nice. All thanks to his orders, though. <laughs> not bad! <sighs> I should have expected as much from someone who's reached mastery of the Arsaid school. It seems you have improved your skills as well. I still haven't reached her level. Mm, that heavy blade guy is pretty good. And that musician's support isn't bad either. And he can play a, quite a good tune. But... Hey, Ashen guy. Why are you holding back? Need some help? <gasps> I won't let you! The bullet did not come from there. One of the Constellation Snipers! Damn it! Are they the Stalrider? It's definitely the two we saw during the intro and the ones that pretty much wiped me out when someone wanted some biscuits. The other members. I wanted it to be the sword and the stout, like like it was said previous, but alright. Oh, the sharp, yes. I am called Ines the Stout. It is an honor to meet the successor of the Arsaid School. I'm Anea the Sharp. <laughs> Thank you for playing with our dear Duvali. You know, that's that was it, wasn't it? Like Kurt said, just like the stout and the sharp. It's like there's just something about the way he said it. You teleported up there just to say that? There's no need to be courteous to the Arsaid girl. Oh, yeah. Still harbors a grudge. Gareth. Regimental Commander Gareth of the Red Constellation. I've come to assist the young miss. Man, Daddy always worries too much. But whatever. We're back to five on five. It seems like our enemy is just sitting around checking us out, so we may as well get to killing. Very well. If we're lucky, we may even meet the conditions to start it up. Start what up? What are you up to? Mm. Enemy? She's not talking about us? The conditions to start what? I'm assuming a magic knight. Coming through! Voice, is that Ash from Class 8? We're here too! Let's go! <laughs> oh my! Ugh. Damn hatchlings! <laughs> Black Rabbit! You're here? I like how she's sort of like, you sit down. Long time no see. Altina, Kurt, Yuna! Stop! You need to get back! Yeah, it's that thing. I mean, this is kind of Reen's fault because he didn't explain the situation. Like, they, well, other than Altina, they don't know how bad these guys are. We won't. You told me I needed to find what lies beyond. I spent my life wishing I was more like my father and brother. I watched as my purpose was taken away. It's possible I'm wrong. But as far as I'm concerned, this is what lies beyond. <laughs> Kurt, we understand this is a violation of orders. However, since we received valuable information, we came to offer support. After all, special ops missions require us to make judgment calls depending on the situation. <laughs> Altina using that against him. That's... How dare you use the rules against me? Ali, 
You too. Sorry we went against your orders, Instructor Reen. Well, at least she's apologizing. But don't you remember? You said it yourself. You told us to find an identity for our class that's all our own. We may not have skill or resolve yet, but we decided among the three of us that we'd come and help. Mm, and I'm still a bit sort of like, I need her to grow a bit. I feel like she will grow. Just sort of needs sort of taming, like with logic a, a little bit. And that, that's what she needs, really. Because she was definitely driven by emotion. Just that little bit of logic would have been good. <laughs> you guys! <laughs> this is most definitely a class seven. Pretty funny to see Reen on the other end of one of his own speeches. Ugh! What's with all this schmaltzy drivel? <laughs> oh, come on! They're having fun! It would have been great to just really go at it with everyone. But maybe now that the situation's nice and warmed up, it'll work. Whoa there, little Miss Warcrime. Don't go getting any ideas. You seem like you might be a real monster, but I'm not just gonna sit by and let you do whatever you want. <laughs> you seem fun. Even though you're in a Panzer Soul Dot, you haven't let your guard down. I think you'll find that is Jeffrey, the slightly off color blue knight. <laughs> well, I'm told the armor's a bit thinner than a tank's. And thanks to your little lesson the other day, I know taking a shot from a Panzer Faust is no good. So thanks for that. Not planning on taking any hits from that crazy looking weapon of yours either. <laughs> oh, I bet Daddy would like you. But can you buzz off for now? Why you? The hell? Yeah, yeah, there we go. Behind me? What in the world? Again, th this is what I kind of wanted. Just sort of like that. Yeah, they come in. It's like, yeah, we're winning the day. But it's like they need to sort of be knocked a little. Just so they start thinking about things a bit more logically. They needed a better plan. They thought of one, which is good. But they needed a better plan. But it's it's sort of, I think the best way to describe it, I need them to sort of like Reen and his class seven to come together to sort of like a middle ground. That's what I'm hoping where the story will go here, because you've got these guys, very emotional, very young. Makes sense within the context of the story. It makes sense. It's like they're acting pretty much like, yeah, how Class 7 was in the Cold Steel 1. It's like they're very emotionally driven. Reen knows the stakes, but he's not explaining it to them. He's not that good of an instructor yet, is he? He's... he's not found his footing there, so he's explaining things wrong, which is causing problems with them. They're getting too emotional. As a result of his instruction, they need to come to a middle ground. That That's what we're going to see evolve over the game, isn't it? Which is going to be fantastic. So here we're having a situation where this is actually Reen's fault. It, 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 it seems like it's Yuna's fault because, you know, the immaturity that I've gone about before. But it's actually Reen's fault for him not explaining the details Little details, that's all he needs, just little details to them of how dire the situation could get. So Reen's at fault. There you go. Is that another archaism? Oh, it's an Aeon. It's enormous. Looks even bigger than a Goliath. An Ion. This is the newest model the Machine Crossbell had during their bid for independence. The one that destroyed the entire 5th Armored Division. This is the thing Estelle and them fought? How's it moving without a Septarian? Yay! It's a huge success! Now to see how many of its functions will work. Obviously, my mind's fixated on the Septarian, so... Hmm. So it's powered by a Septarian. Intriguing. Huh? Guess you're up, huh? Yeah. There's no way we can allow them to let this thing loose. He's got his fish. Fish clenched. Yep, his fish clenched. Not his fist, his fish. Very well. I shall leave this to you. Looking forward to seeing him again. 
Could it be? Heed my call! Valimar, the Ashen Knight! Here we go. Acknowledged. Definitely, like, just thinking, like... Green and Class 7 need to have a, a sit down after this and sort of air things out, sort of thing. Ha, hey, it's moving on its own. Whoa, hey, what's going on? Valimar, did Reen call for you? Indeed. It seems a powerful enemy has appeared. The students are there with them. You should all make your way there as well. So this is the power of the Chosen One's Night. I'd heard stories, but seeing it firsthand is pretty crazy. I didn't expect it to have such mobility. Major Irving, Instructor Randolph. We should contact the RMP and the Provincial Army. Let's ask them to watch this place so we can all head to the scene. What? <laughs> <laughs> Alright, you seem clueless to most things. It really is strange. Huh. Roger that. But that's... Instructor Reen's... The Ashen Knight. It's been a while. Damn! It came flying here all the way from camp! This is the Divine Knight I've heard so much about. It's here, but we plan for this too. Well, that's worrying. Green Felimar! That thing destroyed an entire armored division. Whatever you do, be careful. Yeah! This will be our first battle together in some time. Further, the opponent seems to be quite powerful. Yeah, I can sense a strange flow of power in it. It's different from a Panzer Soldat, or even a Divine Knight. Let's start by seeing what it can do. Acknowledged. Hmm, got some theories for me. Okay, yeah, I, I noticed this when we were doing the intro, this exclamation. It's my turn! Right, so I want to talk a little bit of a theory with this thing right here. Now, I'm assuming it's like the Magic Knights that kept appearing when there were sort of like disturbances in the Force, essentially. Disturbances in the... What would it be? Like the Sepith, really? Like the, the veins? It seems to be when... It, like, I, meant, I had this sort of thought all the way back to... Cold Steel 1, didn't I? If you think about it, when we were wandering around the Nord Highlands, like, thinking way back, just this idea of, like, the idea that these, like, like robots, these knights are appearing and stuff like that, based on conflicts happening, and then they awaken and stuff happens. So maybe what our Robber Ross has done is somehow tied this thing into the fact conflict is forming around here as a result of what they're doing. They powered it up, essentially. Re redirected from, like, a magic knight into this. Some kind of inkling there. I've not got 100% of an idea form there. That's just roughly what I've got going on. But anyway, we've actually got, like, a proper, 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 proper Valley Malphite now. So let's see what we've got with Crafts. So Lustrious Slash. Two rapid strikes, unblockable. That could be good right there. I'm assuming it's pretty much the same. Source HP. The condition of one of the machines. Raising. Charge. It seems pretty much the same. So let's go Lustrous Slash. It's my turn. Okay, so. Hmm. Just 
wondering like what would be best for imbalance here. Don't know, but I'm gonna go with defend, obviously, like you know. It's my turn. So let's see about with this arm. No, it's guarded there, okay. I'm up! I'll defend again. Need a place to unbalance it, really. We tried that, and we had nothing there, so let's try the middle. Good, 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 good. It's my turn. Now. Not bad in terms of damage. But I'm thinking a heal is in order. Power diminishing. All Use right. Spirit charge advised. All right, calm down, Valimar. Calm down. I already had I I this plan. Don't spirit. worry. He's like, chill. Chill. Huh. Oh. It's my turn. <sighs> Let's go. Let's pack a punch though, doesn't it? Now. Now. It's my turn. Now. An opening. Thinking if we hit it again, ooh. Use of spirit charge advised. Yeah, I'm gonna go with that. We'll play it safe. We'll play it safe. I'm up. Finish her. Pretty impressive against that huge thing. However, it seems this foe is on a completely different level. It has unbelievable mass and armor. But it seems like that's not all. If only there was something we could do. It's made of an alloy developed by the society. Herdelegan 2. Herdelegan? But it's strange that a blade made of Zemurian ore can't cut through it. Darn it! It's too much for him! There's no way he can beat that gigantic thing all by himself! That's it! Are you okay? Yeah, just got the wind knocked out of me. Since it wasn't a direct hit, the machine itself shouldn't be too damaged. Hate to say it, but I gotta leave it to you. What? Are you going to... Yeah, I got it. <sighs> Something's wrong. How can it be this hard? I heard these things had abnormal powers during the crossbell incident, but... It would appear there is a mysterious power flowing through the machine. Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. Were we to break the flow somehow? Allow me to help. That voice. Kurt! He's in Jeffrey. The slightly off color blue knight. Kurt, get back! This isn't the kind of opponent a Panzer sold I can handle! I know that, but I can't just stand by. This land means so much to me. I need to do whatever I can to protect it. See, where I think the story with these guys is going now, like, they were both in the wrong. Like, these guys in, like, Class 7 were too emotional. Reen also was too emotional and didn't inform them of the stakes, etc. Like, what was going on. But them arriving has helped. So it's that sort of, like, right, we need to sit down and actually use each other's benefits to our advantage, really. That's what they need to do. Good talk. And find my own path ahead. Please accept my help, and the Sword of the Vanders. Kurt. This is... Is this a combat link? This feeling... It's coming through the Arcus. Just like during the Civil War. No, it feels even stronger now. What did he do? What did that prince do this time? 
Even the students from the new class seven. Uh huh. Whoa! The heck's going on? We'll talk later. Right now, we take this thing down. We need to determine what strange power is flowing through it and cut it off. It's it's the it's the veins. It's the veins. Understood. Same thing. It makes sense. About partners. New unique actions can be performed by each combatant's partner through Valimar's power. One partner may be paired to each combatant before the battle begins. The partner chosen to be in the first slot will receive both parameter bonuses and link experience. These partners can also be changed during the battle itself. Very well. It's uh just ooh. Mm, 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 mm. Mm. About unity attacks. Accumulating five ray points and unbalancing the enemy will allow you to use a very powerful unity attack. These attacks are performed together with and vary depending on your current link partner. I'm up. Oh, is that it? Is that, that that's your description? Okay. Right, so obviously, obviously, this is going to be a place where we will end this part. And we shall see you in the next part when the Ashen Knight will fight alongside Jeffrey. The slightly off color blue knight and take down what the hell this thing is. It does look really cool though when you think about it. That does look impressive. So, anyway, we'll see you in the next part. Toss off for now. <laughs>